CDL hazmat practice test continued. Picking up at question number 20. You are going to be hauling hazardous materials over a route you do not know well. When should you check the route and the permits needed for the trip? A. Before starting the trip. B. While you are still on a part of the route that you know. Or C. Within 24 hours of the end of the trip. I'm going to go A. Before starting the trip. And that was correct. Number 21. Carriers must give each driver who transports class 1.1 or 1.2 explosives A. An extra fire bottle B. A list of rest stops the driver may use or C. A copy of FMCSR Federal Motor Carrier Safety Regulation Part 397. I'm going to go see a copy of FMCSR Federal Motor Carrier Safety Regulation Part 397. And that was correct. Number 22. You should stop before crossing a railroad grade if your vehicle is carrying blank of chlorine a 110 gallons b 55 gallons or c any amount i'm gonna go any amount And that was correct. Number 23. You are hauling hazardous materials and you find that one of your tires is leaking. You must A. Continue at reduced speed and check that tire every 25 miles. B. Stop at the nearest safe place and fix it. Or C, report it to your carrier immediately. I'm going to go B, stop at the nearest safe place and fix it. And that was correct. Number 24, when shippers package hazardous materials, they must certify that this was done according to regulations. The only exemption is when A. The shipment is a hazardous waste. B. The shipper is a private carrier carrying their own product. Or C. The driver is given a sealed cargo compartment. I'm going to go B. The shipper is a private carrier carrying their own product. And that was correct. Number 25. When fueling a placarded vehicle, someone must always be A. At the emergency power shutoff for the pump. B within 10 feet of the pump with a fire extinguisher or C at the nozzle controlling the fuel flow. I'm gonna go C at the nozzle controlling the fuel flow. And that was actually correct. I had done that one before, I just forgot about it. So remember to be at the nozzle 
controlling the flow. Number 26. The total transport index of all radioactive materials packages in a single vehicle must not exceed A. 10 B. 50 or C. 100 I'm going to go B. 50 and that was correct so remember not to have more than 50 hazardous packages number 27 who is responsible for checking that the shipper correctly named, labeled, and marked a hazardous materials shipment? A, the carrier, B, the shipper, or D, the manufacturer? sounds kind of like a trick question but I'm gonna go the carrier this one actually might be the shipper like it's their own fault all right you got it right so it wasn't a trick question the carrier is responsible for checking the shippers uh, work number 28 if there is an RQ before or after the item description on the shipping paper. It means the A. Material has an insurance value of over a thousand dollars. B. The carrier must report a spill of this material. Or C. Material is in a package containing no other materials. Not 100% on this one. I'm going to go C. The material is in a package containing no other materials. All right, they got me. The correct answer was the carrier must report a spill of this material. Section 9.3.3. Lists of regulated products. The letters R, Q may appear before or after the basic description. You and or your employer must report any spill of these materials which occurs in an RQ. So just remember the takeaway is if it has an RQ before or after the description the description on the shipping paper, the carrier must report a spill of this material. Number 29. You need to warn other motorists of a stopped vehicle which has a tank used for flammable liquid or gases. You may use A. Flares B. Signal fires or C. Reflective triangles I'm gonna go C. Reflective triangles And that was correct. Number 30. You have hazardous materials leaking from a container, but not spilling from your vehicle. 
Drive to the closest area where you can get help. A. And call emergency personnel if they are needed. B. In repacking the leaking materials with plastic overwrap. Or C. As fast as you can if it is damaging your truck. I'm going to go A and call emergency personnel if they are needed. And that was correct. Number 31. You have loaded a hazardous material into a cargo tank. What must you do before you move the vehicle? A. Close all manholes and valves and be sure they are free of leaks. B. Have the loading observers sign off on the shipping papers. Or C. Place shipping papers within your reach. I'm going to go A. Close all manholes and valves and be sure they are free of leaks. And that was correct. Number 32. When transporting chlorine in a cargo tank, you must have A. An emergency kit for controlling leaks in fittings on the dome cover plate. B. An approved gas mask. Or C. Both. I'm going to go C. Both. And that was correct. Number 33. If the word forbidden appears in the hazard class column of an entry in the hazardous materials table, A. A shipment of this material must never be larger than RQ. B. A common carrier must never transport the material. Or C, the carrier may not open the package or container. I'm going to go see a carrier may not open the package or container. They got you. It was incorrect. The correct answer was a common carrier must never transport the material. Section 9.3.3 lists of regulated products. Column 3 shows a materials hazard class or division or the entry forbidden. Never transport a forbidden material.